Um, it's your brother Wild Rumia. Back with another lesson. The Lord willing to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Muharu Kakodash, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And shalom on to you, Akim and Akwa, after believing and have faith in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, in these last days. Uh, I just got another, uh, another lesson going into, man, uh, the fall of Babylon the Great, man. And uh, as we know it, it's coming to an end very, very quick. And I just got a couple of videos, and after that, I'll get some scriptures. And like I said, Lord willing, it'd be edifying. We'll start with this one. Fun fact, America is now a third world country, officially, according to a new European study. I'm going to tell you about it. But unfortunately, I think a lot of Americans know this already. This is not just due to the health care crisis, okay? 70% of Americans have mental health issues, and they cannot get help for it. Why? Because three-fourths of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck right now. They don't even have enough money to get good food. This is not because of a food shortage, okay? It's simply because they literally can't get it. <laughs> they don't got no money. Homelessness? The worst it's ever been. Substance abuse? The worst it's ever been. Crime rates? Through the roof. And I don't know if y'all know this, but because of all of that, other countries are telling their citizens not to travel to America. Not just because of the safety of their own citizens, but because there's a lack of safety for our own citizens. Throughout history, the wealthy has tried to be like, white people, you guys have wealth, you guys have all this stuff. And then people of color, you guys are poor, you guys don't have anything. Um, we're all in the same boat. And we've always all been in the same boat. It's just really bad now. The wealthy control the country and they have the most benefits from this country, okay? Not us. They made us, or white people, they made y'all believe that you guys had a lot of benefits. But... You really don't. <laughs> we have to wake up and work together. Get rid of the idea of race, okay? We have to work together. Yeah, she she went off at the end. Because ain't no way to work together, man. This is their kingdom and it's going down. It's <laughs> working together, shit, that's the last thing they want to worry about, man. They don't care about you Negroes, man. They truly hate you, man. They hate all the nations, man. The Lord made them the wicked on the earth, man. You're going to see the reason why the Lord called them the wicked. Let me start there from the beginning. I'm not washing my hands for what happened in the house. That is a separate. That is a separate. You killed a million people in Iraq. That is a separate. You killed a million people in Iraq. It's incredible that you have the brass neck to be sitting here now urging another Iraq war. We should have never been in Iraq. We have destabilized right. the Middle East. That's I want to tell you, they lied. Okay. They said there were weapons of mass destruction. There were none, and they knew there were none. And that's what they MO, man. They go and destroy countries, man. And she had no remorse, man. She had no remorse. She said, I'm not going to wash my hands over what happened in the past, man. And he said to her face, man, you killed a million Iraqis, man. A million people like it wasn't shit, man. It had no, wouldn't apologize. I'm going to wash my hands off, off the past, man. So, man, yeah, yeah, they, they don't care, man. The Lord made them this way. Warren Buffett sold $8 billion worth of stocks, raising economy crash fears, and he's not the only one. Michael Burry is the same guy that predicted the 2008 market crash. He also just bet $1.6 billion on a market crash. Author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad has also been agreeing. He's telling everyone, warning everyone to get out of stock. And this is convenient at a time where there's literally a new variant of COVID. And the same thing happened during COVID. When you guys don't remember, literally, this is proof that the stock market flew up. And on top of that, we have a BRIC summit next week. And this meeting was planned years in advance. So the past 15 years, they've been trying to launch a new currency to bring down the value of the dollar. And India actually already took the first step. So why does the government get so scared if we somehow understand what the economy is doing? If we somehow end up learning day trading? If we somehow understand stocks? Isn't it better if we are rich and we actually know what to do with our money? 
But no, it's not because then there's less people paying taxes and there's less people giving money to the government and there's less people being liquidity of the market. If there aren't fools in the market, then there will be no people that are winning in the market. And the problem is that 99% of our society, especially the middle class, they believe that they have the tools and money to invest when they really don't. They don't have the knowledge. It's not about money needing to be invested. It's about, and I was one of those people because I was working three jobs and I said, I need to find a way to buy a house, but I can't just let my money sit in the bank forever. I need to go invest into stocks. And it was wrong. During COVID, when the market crashed, and then after that, it started flying up, and then people were too scared to get back in. That is literally because big banks, big money is already in the markets. It happened with crypto same thing that's happening around the world and this is the second time now that this is happening and a lot more people are going to get hurt this time i get it you guys are busy with your nine to fives at a time to look at the news but i am here telling you guys that hold on to as much cash as you can figure out what's happening in this world prepare and warn your friends and family from things that are about to happen yeah but um i mean she's clueless you know what i'm saying she just sit up there and say really contradicted herself because the BRICS currency is not going is, is 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 not going to be able to compare to the U.S. dollar because it's backed by gold. You know, we went into that a couple couple of lessons ago, where one dollar is a fifty five dollars going to be equivalent to one dollar of the BRICS currency. So I mean, there's no way to invest in this currency. It's, it's uh, the American dollar is over with, man. That's why Warren Buffett is getting out of the stock market and selling everything because they know this place is done, man. And once you realize this place is done, you, you will return back to your house by Shemel was shot, man. Because there's no way this place is going to be built back up uh, or be healed, man. The scriptures in Jeremiah tell you that I would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed, man. So, I mean, these women, they, they don't know what they're talking about. But, you know what I'm saying, they bring out information. You just got to take it with a grain of rice, man. And I'm going to kind of skip a little part in this video because they say the uh, the C word out loud, she did, but low willing they don't take it down. But lockdowns are coming back. <laughs> As most of us have feared, the lockdowns are coming back. Federal officials from the TSA and from the U.S. Border Patrol have contacted InfoWars and revealed that the Biden administration is now setting the stage for full COVID lockdown. Mental restrictions such as masking TSA employees and then masking other government employees and then masking non-government workers and then masking everyone. Fires and floods are everywhere, and our billionaire ruling class are now being very open about their plans to lock us all down again in order to save humanity. One thing that maybe surprised you most, something you learned the last year? Well, I learned that people don't know as much as they think they know, but the biggest thing you learn is that the pandemic was bound to occur, and this isn't the worst one that's imaginable at all. The society has a terrible time preparing for things that are remote, that are possible, and will occur sooner or later. There'll be another pandemic. We know that. We know there's a nuclear, chemical, biological, and now cyber threat. Uh, and we know, you know, it has, each one of those has terrible possibilities. And we some things about it. But it's just not something that society seems particularly capable and fully coming to grips with. The cyber threat, you know, it, it, we just started. <laughs> and and uh, uh, look at the damage that's already been done. The mask mandates are coming back. The lockdowns are returning. Will you comply or will you stand together against this decrepit old tyranny that seeks to rule over? Now is the time to make that decision. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese. So you see, you heard it for yourself, and I played a little bit of the other video yesterday, but, man, you know what I'm saying? They, they be, you know, they, you know what they do. They cut the videos, and they say, you say it, I guess. But like you see, man, they, they uh, are planning to uh, bring this uh, lockdown back, man. And it's going to be, he said it was going to be way worse than the first one. It's going to be way worse than the first one, man. And then what they got coming is going to be a, a lot more people dying this go round because Esau is emptying the labs, man, of all the 
weaponry he has stored up. He's he's letting it loose, man. We're gonna start with Isaiah 13 and uh, drop down to verse 19. It says, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency, man. The Chaldees going into those elite. And you seen Buffett, man. He he, he telling you, man, this is just the beginning, man. This the, the, These uh, society is not prepared. And he, he's telling you the truth, man. These people are, 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 are stuck in partying and bullshit, especially the Jakes. And Esau, you know what I'm saying? They still partying bullshit. But a lot of those... Um, Edomites and heathen nations, man, they getting prepared, man. You know what I'm saying? But Jake is not being prepared, man. It's the beauty of the of the Chaldees excellency, man. And that's the the, the 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 king of the Babylon is the is the ex, is, is is the elite's excellency, man. Everything is basically ran through here, but you know the banking system is not ran through, but mostly the military, man. It says shall be as when power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, man. So the Lord telling you in this sentence, man, this place is going to be overthrown like Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. So the Lord is telling you through Isaiah, this place is going to be destroyed and no, no generation is ever going to live here. No people are going to ever live here again. Neither shall the Arab, Arabian pitch tent there all these Arabian stores, you, you know, them bodegas and all type of stores they got in the hood that, you know, sell Jake poison. They're not going to be able to come in and, and, and build a store. I mean, not build a store, but I'm sure some of them do build stores and subways and shit. They're not going to come over and, and have no businesses anymore, man. It says, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, but wild beasts and, and of the desert shall lie there. See that? This place is going to be a desert, man. Just only wild beasts and desert creatures are going to dwell here. It says, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. The owls shall dwell there, uh, there and the satire shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. So whatever's left, which is going to be a desert from California to New York, whatever building, structure, anything is uh, laid left, they're going to dwell in the places, man. And their time is near to come. See, we know the time is near, man. And her days shall not be prolonged. See, that? that's why th th these um, women think that, um, especially the Jake woman, the heathen woman, she, it don't really matter for her. She better get up out of Babylon the Great. But for the heat, I mean, for the Jake woman, man, you, you need to stop trying to make yourself um, a, uh, uh, um, I would say, uh, um, you make your fold here, man. Because the Lord telling you he's going to destroy this place, man. It's time to repent because every everybody's seeing what's happening and everybody should see what's coming. And there's no way to talk the Lord down from what he's going to bring on the earth. And as, he, and as he's shaking his hand over this place already, you know what I'm saying? People giving Esau the credit, but it's, it's how about Shimei was shy? It's shaking his hand over this place, man. It's how about Shimei was shy, man? This place is, is slated to be utterly wasted, man. Let me drop down to Jer it's Jeremiah 51. And as you see in the title it says Babylon's punishment, which this whole chapter is dynamite. But I want to get a couple points in this uh, verse, man. I'm gonna drop down to verse 35 because we know the Medes or the Russians are gonna come and take down Babylon the Great. But I just want to hit a couple points uh, in this verse. It says, "For thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai of Hosts, the power of Israel." The daughter of Babylon, see that? The daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her. And we're living in a time the Lord is going to thresh Babylon the great, the daughter of Babylon, which is America, man. Yet a little while and the time of her harvest shall come. So just a, it's only going to take a little, it just took a little while, man, from when the time the Lord left. That's when the last day started when the Lord was um, crucified, man, and he was risen. That's when the last days uh, was was um, basically placed on earth, man. 
the last days, as the church would say. We're living in the last days. It started when Yahweh Shah was on earth, man. It says, 34, it says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, have dwelt, uh, devoured me. He have crushed me. He have made me an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up like a dragon. He has filled his belly with my de my delicate my my delicates with my delicates. Make sure I'm passing this. I always say it, but delicates. With my de with my delicates. Let's look this word up real quick. I know I was right, but it's just sometimes I get. Got too much thing, too many things running across my mind. It's a delicate, very fine in texture or structure of in, in integrate workmanship or quality. 34 again, it says, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, have devoured me. He have crushed me. He have made me em uh, an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up. Like a dragon, he hath filled his belly with my delicates. He hath cast me out. And that's what the, the, the king, the modern king, it will be um, Biden. You know what I'm saying? And they have swallowed our people up, man. Really the elite, but in this, um, he, he will be symbolic to the king of uh, Babylon the Great, man. Biden. Verse 35, it says, The violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. See that? And that's what we're going to, that's what the Lord is saying. We're going to get that in Revelations that we're going to rejoice over her, man, because she has uh, the blood of the saints in this place, man. The violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. And that's what we're asking the Lord, man, because we've died in the Babylon a great many times, man. Shall the, in shall the inhabitants of Zion say, see that? That's what the children of Israel are going to say, the elect of the children of Israel, man. Let the violence be done. To, the, the, let the the violence that done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon, man. It says, and my blood upon the inhabitants of the Chaldee shall Jerusalem say. See that we're saying this to Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. Let our blood that, that they done to us. Let what was done to us be upon them, man. Let our blood that they shed be on unto them, man. He said, therefore. Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, Behold, I will plead thy cause. See that? The Lord said he's going to plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee. See that? We're praying to the Lord, man. And the Lord is going to plead our cause, man, and take vengeance for us, man. He says, I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. See that? That's what the Lord telling us, man. He's going to destroy Babylon the Great for what they've done to us. And that's, man, that's... <laughs> That's righteous ju uh, judgment, man. He says, they shall roar together like lions. They shall yell as lions whelp. In, in, in their heat, I will make her feast. See, oh, man, that's heavy. He said, in her heat, I will make her feast, man, because that's what's coming, man, that fire. And I will make them drunken that they may rejoice in a perpetual sleep, man. So the Lord's going to put them to death, man. The Edomites are going to be destroyed, Obadiah 118. They're never, they're never going to rise again after Obadiah 18, man, after the kingdom is established at 1,000 years. They're going to be Obadiah 18, man. And that's that sleep, perpetual sleep, man. They're going to be like they're going to be like a dream. We ain't going to never remember the Edomites on the earth. It says, and none wake, Seth Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. See, the Edomites are going to be put to death, man. It says, I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter. And that's what the Lord is preparing for Esau, man. Like rams with the goats. And that's what the Lord said with Isaiah 34 says, I got a, a sacrifice in Basra, man. How is Shishak taken? See that? And Shishak is another name for um, Babylon, man. And I looked it up early when I was studying this lesson. It says, Shishak, thy fine linen. See that? It's the glory of the, uh, the Chaldees. Remember we just read that. America is, in Babylon the Great is the glory of the, of, of the Chaldees, man. Another name for Babylon apparently taken from the goddess Shaq. 
Shishak, a symbol of Babylon. See, this um, Shishak is, is, is talking about Babylon the Great, man. It says, how is Shishak taken? See that? This place is going to be taken. And how is the praise of the whole earth surprised? <laughs> how is it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, it shouldn't be surprised. But yeah, the Lord telling you, they're going to be shocked the way the Lord dest uh, destroyed these, this place, man. Because they're saying with Re Revelation 18, they're going to see from afar off the destruction of Babylon the Great, man. And some scriptures say that you can hear it, you're going to be able to hear it in the Red Sea, the destruction of Babylon the Great, man. So it's going to be a great, they're going to be surprised, man, the shock, the way this place is taken. How has Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? The sea has come up upon Babylon. See that? All the nations are going to come up upon Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of the ways thereof. Destruction is waiting at this, uh, at this man's side, man. Her cities are desolate. Uh, her cities are a desolation, a dry land, and a wilderness, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doeth any son of man pass by thereby. So no, 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 no Israelite is going to come in this place, come back to Babylon the Great. So, oh, yeah, I should stay in, in Tennessee or Florida or California. Or, nobody going to do that, man. The same thing Jeremiah said, the same thing Isaiah. He said no, no, from generation to generation, no, no, no people are going to live here anymore, man. It says, and I will punish Baal in Babylon. See that? He's going to punish the devil in Babylon, man. And I will bring forth out of his mouth that that which he has swallowed up, the, and the nation shall not follow together, flow together any more unto him. And that's all the nation got the EU here. I mean, not the EU, Shalaka. They got the uh, the UN uh, here, United Nations here. So they're not gonna flow. They're not gonna flow to Esau anymore, man. He said the nation shall not flow together any more unto him. So this man is going to be put down, man. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. And that's plain, man. The wall that they have, they don't have a border, but the wall is already taken down, man. The integrity the integrity of, of, of Babylon is taken down, man. Everything you thought was good is here is taken down. They're seeing the, the shame of Babylon the great, man, as they push their agenda across the earth, man. Shit, not only that, though, the food, man, a lot of these foods that, that the Babylonians sell, they don't even allow that in their countries, man. Their own allies do not allow the foods that they sell over in their country, man. This is Psalms 46, and I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, the heathen raged, the kingdom were moved, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. That's the Lord, man. It's right here. So you know it's Yahweh by Shem Shai. Even right here. But I just get five. It says, power is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Power shall help her. And, and that right early. It says, the heathen, the heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. Yahweh by Shem Shai of hosts is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge, Salah. So the Lord is going to be with the children of Israel, man. Those that have repented and believe and have faith in him. He's going to be with you, man. Because this place is going to be destroyed. And there's no way to save it. This is Acts 2. And I'm going to start at verse 38. It says, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we that's what we are bringing out, just in the stead of uh, uh, pa, uh, Peter, to uh, repent and be baptized with this word, man, and you will receive the, the gift of the Holy Spirit, man. It says, for the promise is unto you and to your children. See that? The promise of, of the kingdom of heaven is promised unto us, man. You blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. 
It says, and it all that are afar off, even as many as Yahweh our power shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. And that's what we were, we were bringing out to you, man. Repent from this, this unforward generation, untoward generation, man. Because the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of his people. Because they didn't want to repent. And that's why Peter said, save yourselves. Because if you're caught up with these two thirds, man, you're done, man. You're going to come back in the kingdom through the man of the Lord, man. And the way the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up, you don't know when you're going to come back, man. I want to step in the kingdom of heaven the first day. But <laughs> we're going to live and reign forever. So you don't know when you're going to come back, man. You might be asleep for shit a thousand years, man. You might miss Esau getting burnt up. So you, you, you don't want to, you want to be in the day one, man. Uh, uh, beamed up on those chariots, man. And come down with your how about Shemi al shot, man. And conquer the earth, man. You don't want to be one of them nutsack, uh, nutsack Israelites, man. They can't to come back. For not believing and having faith in the only power that ever existed. You, you don't want to be one of those Israelites, man. That had a chance to repent and didn't. We serve the only power ever created. And he is for us. This is Philippians 2. And I'm going to drop down to verse 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in the in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See that we're bringing this these we're bringing these lessons out on the highways and byways and on, on online to get you to come into your own way of thinking, man. Not in the sense of believing what you want to believe. No, believe in your by Shem Shah, man. Not because the men of the Lord are telling you to. But because you see the word through the scriptures we're reading to you, man. Come to you, how about Shem Yahweh Shah, in, 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 your, in, in, in the way we are bringing out these lessons to you, man. Waking you up to this truth, man. Because no man of the Lord can take, well, you, you can do it like this. You can do it. No, man. You have to repent and come back to the Lord. We're telling you exactly how to do it. Not saying, I'm saying in a sense of we're, we can, nobody can hold your hand and make you do it. You have to, you have to come to your, the Lord. For, on your own, you know what I'm saying? You hear this word, if, if it moves you to believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, take heed, man, and come to the Lord, man, because he just told you, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. And you can't get no plainer than that. Not you know what I'm saying like I said not before, man. You can't come to the Lord how you want to come to Him. No, man. You got to come humbly. First, you got to stop, put off the things that you you've been doing wickedly, and turn to Him and believe, man. Pray to the East. For it is power which worketh in you, both to will and to do of His good pleasure. See that it's the Lord working in you to move you into um, believing in Him. The Lord will move you into doing this, man. And he says, do all things without murmuring and dispute, disputings. So you don't go, man, what about this? What about, you know, you got to go controversial. I mean, not controversial, but you know what I'm saying? With, with, a, with a sense of um, objecting everything. No, man. You read the script, you write the scriptures down, you read them, you read them and you understand it yourself, man. The Lord will put the Holy Spirit on you if you truly believe. If you want to be saved, if you want to you make it out of Babylon and great. The Lord gonna put the spirit on you, man. And what you don't know now, you eventually learn it because the Holy Spirit is what, what gives you understanding. That's how you get understanding, man. Back to Jeremiah 51, and I'm gonna drop down to 47. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon. And you know all of them, man. And her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her, man. 
So the Lord tell you all the people that stay here, that believe that this place is going to get, get back, <laughs> come back, it's going to be destroyed in this place, man. Then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoiler shall come unto her from the north, Sev Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, man. You know those nations that are assembled with, with Russia, man. The Medes. If you don't read, Eze uh, read uh, Ezekiel 38, man, from, from, uh, from one down to like, say, seven, and it tells you all the nations that's going to be with them. And they're, they're jockeying for position right now, man. 49, it says, As Babylon have caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. And this place has truly been against the children of Israel, man. From the time we was, some of us was already, you know what I'm saying, some of the children of Israel were already, already in Babylon the Great, and the ones that came on slave ships, man. This place has always been against, against us. Yea, that have escaped the sword, go away. Stand not still. Remember your how by Shem Yahushua, far off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. See that? And that's what the men of the Lord are doing, man, trying to wake you up because you've, you've known in the past you're Israelites, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, in your previous lives, man, because we come back in our third and fourth generation through reincarnation, man. We've known we was Israelites, but it's been taken away from us, man, because of slavery, and um, the Lord took it away from us, man. He took, our, took, took our away our heritage, man, and he used Esau to do it. But that's why we're trying to stir up your mind to understand who, who you are, man. We're trying to wake you up, man. Wake you out of the matrix. And this should come back to your mind to turn you back to Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. Remember in Jerusalem. Not Africa. <laughs> we, we, we're not Africans, man. We're Israelites. And, and that's, that should be known amongst every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man. We're, we're not of those countries, man. We're Israelites, man. We come from Israel. 52, he says, Wherefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, that I will do judgment upon her graven images. And these graven images, the reason why people think that they're uh, Negroes and uh, Hispanic and Puerto Rican and all these different Bywares, man. These graven images, man, because Esau uses these churches and these mosques to, to, to dumb us down, man, not to know who we are. But the Lord is going to judge his her graven images, man. And through all her land, the wounded shall groan. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the heights of her strength, and that's through their military, man. They got all these weapons and all this different technology they have. They mount up to heaven, man. They think no nation is going to be able to take them down. It says, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her. See that? From me, the Lord telling you. So the Lord is going to be fighting against Esau, Edom, man, Babylon, the great man. He said, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her. So the Lord is going to be against Babylon and great to fight against her, man. And sound of a cry cometh from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahushua have spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her great voice, her the great voice. When her ways do roar like great rivers, a noise of their voice is uttered. Because of the spoilers is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken, every one of their bowels is broken. For Yahweh by Shem Yahushah of recompense, reek of, of recompenses shall surely requit. And that's that's plain, man. Let's get this in another verse, man, because it's telling you the Lord is surely coming to destroy this place, man. Good uh, New Living Translation, it says, Destroying armies coming against Babylon. Her mighty men are captured and their weapons broken in their hands. See, their, their, their weaponry is not going to be able to fire off, man. 
Because the Lord is going to be against them, man. He says, for Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is a power who gives just punishment. See that? So what they've done to us, they're going to get just punishment, man. He always repays in full. Woo! This place got a full destruction coming, man. A full destruction coming to it. Good news translation. He says, they have come to destroy Babylon. Its soldiers are captured and their bows are broken. See that the weaponry that Esau has, all this technology is going to be thrown down, man. The Lord is going to break it right in their hands. He says, I am, I am power who punishes evil. Woo. And I will treat Babylon as it deserves. I mean, I, what more can you say with, with that? The Lord says he's going to treat this place as it deserves. And that's, uh, hey. And if you don't believe the Lord is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do, you're a damn fool, man. Because the Lord took us down. And, and Moses told Moses he was going to take us down, put us in slavery, man. He do, Deuteronomy 28, man. He, the Lord told Moses what he was going to do. He told Abraham what he was going to do to us, man. And it happened. So if, if it happened to us, why it can't happen to them? The Lord is a man of his word, man. He pays back in full. He just said it. This is Isaiah 25. I just want to get the point in verse 5. It says, Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heart in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of, the, of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. See that? They're going to be brought low, man. And that's the Edomites, man. The branches, that, that, them, um, your forefathers, man. They're an extension of what they did to us in the past, man. That's them coming back, man. So the Lord is going to bring them down, man. Let me get back to Jeremiah 51 because I want to bring another point in, man. But I said that the Lord is, is a man of his word, man. The Lord does not forget. He does not forget, man. It's Jeremiah 51. I just want to get the point in 7 and 8. Or oh, 7 down and 9. Read some. It says, 6. I started 6. It says, Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. And that's what I just said earlier. Going into the scriptures we read to, to, to have us uh, us come out of it. Uh, was it Acts uh, 2? Um, Psalms and Psalms. We read, man, about us fleeing out of the midst of Babylon, man. Come out of this mindset of, of being an American and come back to your heritage as being an Israelite. He says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. See that? Don't be cut off in Babylon's iniquity, man, because the Lord says he pays back in full. He says, for this is the time of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai's vengeance. And we just read the Lord, is <laughs> he's going to fight for us, man. The vengeance is the Lord's, man. He says, he will render unto her a recompense, man, payback. Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai's hand that made all the earth drunken the nations have drunk it of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's plain, man. And, and, and uh, the, the Hamite nations, they, they, they tell you they mad, man. They, they don't want nothing to do with the West, man. This scripture is coming to pass, man, right before our eyes, man. He says, Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her. Bomb for her. If so, she may be healed. Verse 9, it says, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. See that? The Lord said, forsake her. There's no healing Babylon. As, as the video I showed you in the beginning, um, the Jake woman talking about, let's come together as we, we don't see each other as a, no, man. This place is done, man. There ain't no coming together and rebuilding and none of that, man. If the Lord wanted that to happen, he would have did it. On, he would have never brought this place down. It says, forsake her. See that? Forsake, forget about this place, man. And let us go, everyone, into our own country, man. 
and for, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, man. So the judgment, the Lord has heard the judgment of this place, man. It's not came to his face, man. I mean, he didn't slock He didn't hear the judgment. He, he proclaimed the judgment on this place, man. And this place is near to be judged. The Lord had wrote, wrote this from the beginning. I misspoke. But yeah, the Lord has had this place slated to be judged from the beginning, man, because he was, he was already going to put us here because of our, our wickedness, man. This is um, Revelation 17. I went into it before and broke down the, the differences uh, of, of, of um, well, I'm going to read it. This is, uh, I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. That's the same golden cup the Lord said it was in his hand, man. He gave to her, man. He gave this to Babylon the Great, man, the Edomites. And upon her forehead was written, Slaki, upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, man. So this cup was given to Esau, man. And he's soon to drink the dregs of it, man. It says, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. And this place has been drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai, man. That's Revelation um, 20, verse 4, man, because it's going to be martyrs in the last days for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. So John the Revelator seen all this, all the things, this place decked with gold and just precious stones. And he's seen all of it, man. He's seen the martyrs being beheaded. He's seen the hate, the, the blood of the saints in this place as well, man. And he, he wondered with great admiration, man. Let me, let me go back to that, man. Let's get that in a couple other translations, man. Six. New Living Translation says, I could see that she drunken, drunken with the blood of power's holy people. See that? And we were slaves and we was tortured and everything in Babylon the Great, man. She was drunk with, she was drunk, drunk with the blood of, of the power's holy people, man. She was, do you say twice? She was drunk, drunk. Who were witnesses of Yahweh Shai? A star at her, it, I, stir, I stared at her in complete amazement. So they, he, he was shocked at this place, man. That the blood of the Lord's people was here. Because this place is full of, uh, full of the blood of the children of Israel, man. Full of it, man. Good News Translation says, And I saw that the woman was drunk with the blood of God's people. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's people, man. And the blood of those who were killed because they had been loyal to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh When I saw her, I was completely amazed. He was amazed at this place, man. There's so much blood in this place, man. He was shocked, man. He was amazed, like, man, this place has a judgment coming for it. That's why he read and he, he wrote in Revelation 18 what was going to happen to this place, man, because of all the blood. This is um, Revelation 18 and 2. He says, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, uh, yeah, Babylon. It, um, the great is fallen, is fallen, that is has become the inhabitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird, man. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. See that? All the nations have. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through her abundance of her delicacies. 
So everything that Esau had gotten was off the blood of the children of Israel, man. They raped, robbed, and murdered us, man. And this place is full with the blood of the saints, man. The blood of the children of Israel, man. That's why he said, I would he wondered at his place with great amazement, man. Let me finish it up, man. It, verse 10, drop down to verse 10. It says, standing afar off for the torment of, of for her torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is her is thy judgment come. So the Lord telling you, in one hour, this place will never exist again. You'll never hear about this place again, man. This is the this is the final, the final judgment of this place, man. Because we're seeing it being shaken over this place, man. The judgment is already here. Drop it down to verse 20. It says, Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, man. The men of the Lord, man. For power hath avenged you on her. And we're gonna say the water you have by Shimei al Shah for avenging us on her. And that's what we just read at the beginning, man. About um was it Psalms? We read about um us putting a um judgment on her, man. 21 it says, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone. That's the spirit, because that's the camp I follow, man. Great millstone, man. It says, and cast it unto unto the into the sea, saying, Thus with violence. That great city Babylon through uh, be thrown down and shall be found no more at all, man. And this is a stone Yahweh Shah threw at the at the um the um prophecy of Daniel, man. But that's in another lesson, going into another lesson, man. But I'm gonna end it there, man. Lord willing was edifying. Shalom. Shalom.